Here we go again. Seven days to die. Alpha 17.3. Horde night. Every night. After being away from the base for so long, um, kind of spent all day at the base here. Um, the only interesting thing that happened is we got uh, two vultures, a few more regular zombies, but a cop spawned off here by our brand new farm and decided to shoot up here. Thank you, Thunder. And damage up our uh, workbench and our mixer. You can see we've made a few additions here. The wood is temporary while we get uh, the rest of the support in. What we've got on this side is some support and oh, uh, wood frames. Come on. What we've got is some support once it's finished. I'll pick up these rebar frames. Well, we've got a cage in here that we're, <laughs> even though we don't have any damn beakers. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to sink our chem station down here and put some hatches over the top of it. Sounds like we have a party out here. We took the gunpowder that we bought from the trader and the buckshot and made a bunch of shotgun shells. We also crafted up a bunch of stairs, so this is now all super pretty. It'd be real nice if it would dry before the uh, horde shows up, but eh, what you gonna do? They don't really do a lot of damage to the stairs out here, usually. And we patched up our corridor. We started a nice little farm over here. Went ahead and picked up one rank. Don't normally do this, but one rank and living off the land. So if we get any magazines, we can double down on our on our crops. So we got 12 potatoes, 4 mushrooms, and 4 corn. I thought I had a lot more corn, so I'll have to stop and grab corn at some point while I'm driving past all those uh, uh, farms out in the, the nothingness. But these supports should help carry the weight. Um, I may do a sunken um, something over here as well. Not sure yet. Added a few more supports to the front here. And if we had a bit more time, we would start working on adding electric fences to the kill corridor here. Um, not sure what we're going to do. We want to do blade traps around the bottom. But the farm took up most of the day. As it normally does, like what I'm doing right now, I'm just dropping frames for smoothing. And also clears the grass at the same time, and then run around and pick them all back up. Um, so yeah, that, that took quite a while. But, just some wood plates. Um, let's see, I'm going to put some torches up just because it makes it look pretty. I thought I made some torches. Did I not make any torches? It looks like no. Well, that'll take a second. So, when we start adding our electric fences, we need to bulk this pillar, this uh, corridor out, and up to protect the fence post. Like, we could just add fence posts hanging down here. But random cop spit is enough to break the fence posts at um, no at yeah about now they're they're doing enough damage that they they could probably just pop those fences and we got to figure out where we want to put our generator because don't like having the generator right right in the middle of the base because they're just loud and annoying we're just gonna smooth some of this ground down. Maybe we could, no, we don't want to make this any wider, or, eh, I don't know, maybe we just dig a hole right here, and then, got to protect the wire relays if we want to run any power back up into the base, which we do. Um, the plan for the 
electric fences so they're not running 24 7 is to take out one of these hatches add a motion sensor here and then a switch or if you just close these hatches motion sensors don't see through hatches but if they're open they can see through them uh, I believe motion sensors have like 12 ish block range um, maybe it's 14 14 12 at their max range unsure on that one and since we added these supports instead of making our base wider uh, it's kind of going to be a little tricky to add motion sensors for if we want to add blade traps around the bottom here but this uh, uneven ground is just kind of driving me up a wall so been doing a lot of this today just placing frames down to smooth so that's why we have 146 of them we put some more soil in the forge don't have any more iron need to go mining so I'll probably do that tomorrow and quickly go look and see how bad our concrete situation is we used a lot we came back with over 2,000 concrete we had some mix already made um, and this is what we've got left we got three 3k left we had some mixed I think I'm mixing a little bit more yeah got a bit more going check this forge full on stone a bunch of cement ready to go made a ton of buckshot bullet casings forged steel some forged iron and this is just fuel uh, go ahead and restart the forge and deal with the horde here Grab our Molotovs and where do we, there's our bow. We also, since we, we used a physician magazine and made a bunch of, um, since we picked up a bunch of aloe cream in the Higachi Pharmaceuticals building, um, we used our physician magazine, which gave us one more point. Oh, that's a cop. One more point of in. Um, and that combined with the nerdy goggles let us get up to uh, six quality so we went ahead and made a shovel a wrench a shotgun an AK a magnum um, didn't make a six compound bow probably should have so we have a bunch of stuff still to sell to the traders and since we now have uh, access to secret stash we may go on just a, a trader tour tomorrow away cops but we we're completely out of oil but we have a decent stock of Molotovs decent stock of repair kits Who's beating on stuff down there? I hear thumping. But yeah, day 16. Things are coming together finally. Still on the hunt for all the mods that we want, like uh, steel plates, uh, a couple more customized fittings, one or two, I, I can't remember. Um, enough stuff to kit out our shovel. Um, iron breaker for our iron breaker and bunker buster for our pickaxe slash auger we only have a rank 2 auger but if we see one in the trader we'll probably waste all our money on that because that will facilitate uh, gunpowder productions even if we don't have our chem station really hurts doing double the work for uh, gunpowder but sometimes you got to do what you got to do um, we did find a hospital as we were cruising around we may go check that out don't know lots of options I want to finish the uh, corridor here and get the electric fences going 
So I can just sit here if I want to sit here. Because Horde Knight every night is really taxing on ammo. And as they get harder and harder without the sledge and, you know, a little bit better protection, I'm very hesitant to uh, stand out there. But that's probably what we're going to do since we're still not seeing, like, tons of irradiated and ferals. Oh, there's a cop again. Oh, that's a lot of repairs. Really should have upgraded all this cobble. But maybe we'll see about building a little tiny little melee base off of the side here. That we can jump out of and either have a platform that we can run through or run on. Mr. Wolf, what are you doing out here? Um, to get back to the base over here. Because it's going to fail. I'm probably going to mess it up when I build it. Or it's not going to be durable enough. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is, this is it now. So, so nice to be home. <laughs> I love this stupid little base. This corridor really makes it. Who is beating on stuff down there? I don't know. Just quick update today. This, this is it. Oh, another cop. That's three tonight. Haven't seen any vultures. So, Fortnite on day 15 was uh, pretty tame. We had just just a few. So yeah. Pick it up tomorrow. If you watch this, I and mean, all of this, thanks for watching.